Hello and welcome to the first ever theme park building on Planet Coaster. Today I'm going to be doing the first episode of my new theme park series where I'm going to be building my own theme park here on the Planet Coaster game. Now you've seen previous videos of me building different coasters and different rides in Planet Coaster before. But today I'm actually going to be building uh, a park itself. I've never built a park uh, in the game before so it's brand new to me um, and I'm really excited to do this. Um, originally I was going to build five different coasters outside of the park and implement them into this but then I decided you know um, let's start from scratch and build in the game um, and build in the park so it fits in. I might still do some of the similar designs to the rides I've built um, so say like I might build a wing coaster, I definitely will be building a wing coaster in this park um, but it might just be a different, maybe it might be quite similar but a bit of a different layout to the previous um, one I built in the other episodes uh, but yeah as you can see here I'm going to be building an RMC coaster here as the first coaster in the park and this will go in my first area which will be the wild western area uh, now this park's kind of based on, not based, but I'm going to use a bit of inspiration from um, some of the Disney parks where you have um, the main park and then you've got the studios park. Um, so I'm going to section a bit off and have that as my studio park bit where I'm going to put a tram tour in um, and some other little bit areas. So, you know, it's kind of like Disney. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of feel I'm going for. Of course, there won't be I won't be using Disney's attractions and rides, um, but that's the you know the type of style of park I'm going to be going for. Uh, so yeah, that's just to give you a bit of a brief idea on what I'm going to go for. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I've started to build the RMC coaster. I've done a big drop, and then you go into a first non-inverted um, kind of loop thing. And then you would uh, go around a helix and head up into this first inversion, which I'm adding into the coaster. Of course, this is an RMC, so you can add inversions into them. But with a wooden coaster, you can't um, add inversions into those. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, I'm going to have it going through the, the under the lift hill, uh, going around, and then we'll go into one more inversion. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be about a 20-minute video. Um, so yeah, a reasonable length. Of course, the f future ones will be a bit longer as this video is pretty much just me building the coaster and the station area itself. Um, but yeah, as I've mentioned, this is going to be the Wild Western themed area. And so I'm going to have th maybe three or four rides. I'm thinking of maybe having a couple of flat rides and maybe a water ride uh, or maybe another coaster, which it might be the uh, Mine Train coaster. Uh, so I'm still deciding it. So you can always leave your suggestions of what rides you want me to do in the comments below so yeah if you want to leave your suggestions please feel free to and of course I'll be asking for your suggestions of names for the rides um, so yeah definitely stay tuned for that you can give me a name suggestion for this coaster but I will also be um, asking for the next episode as well only because I want to add a bit of theme in before you get to decide of the name so yeah I'll give you two episodes to think of a name um, so yeah, that's plenty of time for you to come up with some fantastic names, and I'm sure you all will. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, I'm just putting um, some of the brake runs in, and then I'm smoothing some of the uh, track out, so it becomes a bit of a more smoother ride, and a bit not as jolty. Um, and of course, you know, rides are better when they're not as jolty, especially uh, rides like Swarm at Thorpe Park, they're just so smooth, B&M wooden coasters. So smooth, very intense. Uh, in some parts of them. As you, if you might have seen, we went to Thought Park Fright Nights. That was a video that went up yesterday on the channel, so definitely go check it out. Uh, that was actually a fantastic day out. Of course, we weren't there for the full day, if you'd watched the vlog. Uh, we were there for maybe four, three, four hours. But we did get about five coasters in. So, of course, we, we did some re-rides. We did Swarm twice. Uh, we did Colossus twice and Nemesis once. Uh, but, yeah, Swarm in the dark. We did both sides, both in, in the dark. And you know, it's so it's. I think, in my opinion, it's look it's better in the dark. And I know most coasters are better in the day, but with the swarm, it was absolutely fantastic. And of course, I still love it as a day ride. Um, 
but yeah it's fantastic I'll get back to that in a minute but just here in front of me you can see uh, just a bit of a sped up POV I didn't want to show you the full you know normal speed POV I'll show you that in another video uh, with the when the theming's around because uh, I don't like showing the POVs um, without the theming and all around the ride so yeah I'll save that for another video but yeah back to Thorpe Park that was absolutely a fantastic um, couple of hours over at the park we saw some of the scare zones we saw uh, Creek Freaks Unchained we saw the crows around the park of course they're in uh, all around the park they're in certain locations um, we saw the swarm invasion that was very good very happy about that uh, the only issue I had was around the swarm area it's a shame because you didn't have any lighting on the track I wish they had maybe some red lights or any colours lights on the track uh, I know on the uh, trains they have some red lights um, but it was a bit of a shame to just see it it was just plain normal white lights and that uh, upset me a little bit because I was looking forward to seeing that in the dark but nevertheless uh, you had got the swarm invasion scare zone over there which was very good uh, but yeah as you can see here we are adding in some of the terrain um, and I'm going to colour this in with the rock uh, terrain paint colour and then add some of the dry grass over it as you can see there I think that fits in really nicely and you'll see what I mean by how it fits nicely uh, as I've added a few more uh, pieces of hills and mountains in a minute but yeah just here I'm adding in some uh, um, brake runs throughout the track just to slow it down um, you know as it was quite intense it said the ride but yeah as you can see here I am adding some more tunnels and uh, different pieces of landscaping and I will add some props and trees and different nature around I don't want to overcrowd it uh, as it's quite nice going on a ride and it's a bit open as well so I have got I'm gonna add some pieces I'm gonna add a bit uh, quite a bit of water around the ride some water effects um, which you'll see mostly in the second and third video of the of this series of course as I said this this um, episode you'll be seeing mainly just as you've already seen the coaster being built and some of the terrain and station building going in um, in the next video you'll see one of the first flat rides going in um, which I'm not going to reveal what that is you'll have to wait and see in the next video and I also add some more props and theming I have already recorded the second video but I just haven't added the voice overlay on that yet so I am just uh, after this I might go and do that or I might just wait until you've left some suggestions in the comments I think that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll record the video and I'm thinking maybe one or two a week of these Planet Coast videos as this I do enjoy playing this game it's quite fun just to log on um, for a couple of hours a day go on and play a bit of Planet Coaster um, but yeah you're seeing about an hour and a half worth of gameplay sped up in this 20 minutes I don't want to you know show you the whole thing on normal time only because I think it's quite boring sitting there um, watching me play the game um, for about an hour and a half I think that's over the top so I do like to speed these up and of course if I do single video um, series and just build rides I will do it in normal time but just at the minute I'm doing this uh, and in sped up and you'll see most of the videos in this park all sped up um, but yeah I think it's it's better when it's uh, you know a bit more sped up only because um, you get to see all the footage in a short amount of time um, and it's more enjoyable I think but yeah definitely leave your comments below and see if you enjoy it but yeah looking at this zooming out it looks absolutely fantastic and it looks even better in the next episode which you'll see when there's a bit more theming and props around I do add um, in this big area where the rock paint is there's going to be a big uh, li not massive but a, a lake there um, and it's going to have one of the um, ships on there not a pirate ship um, but like a kind of ferry type boat one of those classic ferry boats uh, which fits in really nicely with this area um, next episode as I said I've already pre-recorded it uh, as I said I'm gonna go for that kind of studio feel at the, at the back of the park uh, but I had I had only thought of this uh, just before filming um, and speak and doing the overlay for this video so next video you do see me adding in some of the uh, studio props around the wild western area and in episode three I will take them away um, but yeah just at the minute I did add those in because um, I was trying to get a feel for the park but I don't think they fit in really well so I am just going to do different areas um, with the props and then have that certain s separate like studio area at the back of the park which I think will be a lot, a lot better 
And of course in the future, I, this is not going to be the only park I build for you all. I will be building other parks and hopefully this park is finished um, maybe by next Easter, maybe May time. Of course, as I said, maybe one or two videos a week. So we'll try and get them out as regularly as possible. And especially throughout Christmas. Of course, uh, the parks aren't open throughout Christmas. Um, so that gives us more time to play Planet Coaster, which is, you know, always a good thing. But here you can see I'm starting work on the station building. Uh, I'm adding different different parts and different pieces in. Um, I do add some windows, different um, doors, and you know the roof tiles on the top. Um, and overall, at, uh, at the end result, it looks really good. And of course, throughout the series, you, you'll see my building skills improve, and hopefully, in mo I want them to improve as well. Um, as you know, it, it's, I'm not the greatest in Planet Coaster. As I said, this is the first park I'm going to be building. Um, so hopefully, over the upcoming episodes, um, this, my skills will improve as a builder here in Planet Coaster. And at the end of the series, I will be uploading the park for you to be able to download and play. You know, make your own decisions and edit stuff in on your own. I think that would be quite good um, for you to experiment with the park as well. But you'll have to wait till I finish the park. Um, which will be uh, n early next year, if not middle of next year. Um, that's when I'm aiming to finish the park. Obviously, I can't give you an exact date, uh, but that's just a rough estimate. Here you can see I'm adding in some of the windows just along the top and bottom. Uh, I like to do different variety of windows, but looking out there, look at that. It just looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, the terrain around rides makes a ride. It's just absolutely beautiful. You can see with the roof, I've gone for like the track colour, a nice dark red. Um, and you can see I'm doing a two layer roof. I'm going to be doing one of the archway roofs and then you've just got the plain outside roof. Uh, but yeah, overall it's looking very good this station. I'm very happy with the end result of this. Um, adding in some more windows along the top. This reminds me a little bit of the old Logger's Leap station building um, in a way. It, 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 to me it reminds me of that, it might not to you. Uh, but yeah, definitely to me it reminds me. Here I'm just adding in some of the wooden poles just to give it a bit of uh, extra theming. Which uh, at the end it does fit in. It might not look uh, exactly right just at the start, but it does fit in a lot better at the end. So yeah, I'm just adding in some. Before you e enter the station, just at the end of your ride you'll uh, go through those little wooden poles and that exit. Um, but yeah, this is going to be uh, one of... I'm not sure how many coasters I'm going to do in this park. I'm going to do a couple, uh, um, maybe six or seven coasters. I think that's a reasonable count. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do uh, loads, like ten. Ten will be the m absolute maximum, I think, in this park. Of course, I'll probably do one or two, even three in the studio park. I'm going to do an indoor coaster, as I wanted to do one of them. Um, a bit like Crush's Coaster. I think that's the name, yeah, Crush's Coaster over at Disneyland Paris. Um, that's an indoor spinning coaster. So, not a spinning coaster, but maybe another type of coaster over in the studio park I'm going to do indoors. I'm thinking Back to the Future. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I did buy the Back to the Future pack, which you can buy for this um, game. It's one £1.99. Uh, or you can buy also the studio pack, which is um, about £8, I think. Uh, and you do get a lot in that pack, so it's a, it's a very reasonable um, price if you do play this game a lot and want to build your own studio park. You do get many car cars with it, um, and it's very very good value for the price you pay. Um, you do get a few different rides as well that come with that pack. I think you get a um, one of the drop towers, uh, not a drop tower, but a bit like the Tower of Terror, that style of ride. Um, but yeah, here you can see I'm just adding in some of the covers over the windows. And I did move the exit. I knew it was going to be around the back, but I did decide to have it this side. Same side as the entrance. Um, and here you can see I'm just adding in the queue line. With this park, I don't really like the idea of having cattle pens. And if you don't know what that is, cattle pens is where you have the, uh, the queue line right next to each other. Um, a good example of that would probably be... Oh, I'm trying to think now. What, what, where's, where's a cattle pen here in the UK? Um, a little bit like... Oh, this is trickier. I've forgotten what it is now. A bit like um, in the swarm. The swarm queue line is a bit like a cattle pen. It's quite. It's very close together, the queue line. 
Um, it is a, it got well, well really good theming in that queue line. I think it could do with maybe a few more different pieces in it as it needs maybe a bit updating. Quite a lot of the rides uh, queue lines need updating in Thorpe Park in my opinion. But at the minute they're, st they're still decent queue lines. Um, but when you compare them to the likes of Disneyland and Universal, yeah, it's very tricky to have a comparison between them. But obviously, you know, we that's over in America, and we're, you know, limited in space we can use at theme parks over here. Um, but for what they are, they're very good. But yeah, Castle Pen is where the queue line's very close together, um, back and forth, and like that. But I, I, yeah, as I was saying, I don't really want to go for that route uh, with the queue line. I might do it in some areas. But I want to try and leave a gap in between um, the queue line, so a bit like you can see there, there's a gap in between when you go round. Um, uh, so I could add a bit of props in between uh, the queue line there, and you know, add some trees as well. Um, so you can see that I'm trying to decide which tree goes, you know, well enough, and I think that one just there looks quite good. Um, and also I add a few cactuses, and you know, some of these trees which I'm dotting around now. They go quite well with the western area. Yeah, you can see there those trees that uh, qu uh, fit in quite nicely. And looking at the station building at that angle, it looks very, uh, very good. Of course, it's not a massive station, and I will, you know, over the series as I've said, it will get better. But yeah, I, we're coming up to pretty much the end of the video here, um, and I would just like to say thank you so much for joining me in this Planet Coaster video been absolutely amazing talking to you um, but yeah thank you so much for joining me in the first video and the next video will be a bit of a longer video for you to uh, in enjoy uh, but yeah thank you so much for joining me uh, I've been Michael Dean your host here at TPA Vlogs if you did enjoy please like and subscribe and turn notifications and I'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>